Are you a real estate agent and you need a high-end and professional website for your business to beat your competition? Then this video is for you. I will walk you through step-by-step -step how to create a website for real estate agent on Squarespace. Hi, I'm Xenia. I'm a website designer and I have built hundreds of websites using Squarespace. And today I will show you how to create a professional real estate website. To save myself time, I will be using one of my website templates, one specifically designed for uh, real estate agents. It has beautiful layouts and super easy to customize. You can use it too if you don't want to start from scratch and would like to save yourself some time. All you have to do is go to squarespace.com and create an account. All of the websites that you have created are going to be listed here. Or if you want to create um, a new website, you just hover over this create a website button and create a new website. The first thing first, on the right, you're going to have your website, which you can preview. Click this arrow button, which will extend the preview of your website. And to the left, you're going to have all the navigation. This is where you will navigate between different aspects of your website, such as pages, styles, that's where you can customize fonts, colors, etc. If you want to have a shop, you would navigate to selling, marketing. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be using just our pages to build a website. You would navigate to pages, and this is where you would see all of the pages available on your website. The main navigation are the pages that are going to be available here. Under not link section, this is the, the pages that um, are not visible. In the main navigation but they are still accessible to people if you provide a link to them if you want to remove one of the pages from the main navigation all you have to do is just drag it down like that and it immediately have been removed click edit the first thing you can do is hover over the header and customize the name of your website so here where you would type the name of your firm, or if it's a personal real estate account, you would just type your name. You can also add a logo here, but I'm just gonna stick with a plain name. Also by clicking this icon, you can navigate to elements, and this is all the elements that could be displayed in the main navigation. Currently we are displaying button, which is right over here. We can also add social icons. We can add a cart if you're going to have a shop. We can add a language switch if you would like to create a multilingual site. Click Save. Then if you would like to change the colors and fonts, navigate to the site style, this brush. This template is ready to go, so you can just use it as is. But obviously you have an option to customize the fonts. You would customize it in this navigation. So you can click on headings and then select whatever the font you want. Squarespace has a wide variety of different free fonts that you can use. And similarly, you can adjust colors by clicking editing a color palette. And here you can uh, insert your hack color of your branding uh, palette. All right. The most important pages that we need to have for a real estate website is obviously a home page then want to include an about page where we would talk more about your experiences and how you can help your clients. If you providing selling and buying, we have a separate pages for that where we can provide more information, same for the selling. And we can have a property page where we can uh, display our your exclusive listings or just any listings that you have at the moment. I wanted to talk a little bit about the listing aspect of it. Basically, in Squarespace, the way we created a listing page is by using a blog. Each of these listings is going to have its own page where we can add an image. We can also change to display the address, something of that sort. Then we can have um, the description. We can also add um, another set of images, maybe like a gallery. Then we can add a button, which would be contact me. And uh, you would want to attach a link. And the way you attach a link is click forward slash and start typing the page you want to link to. In our case, we can link to contact me page over here. Or instead of URL, we can actually use an email. And this here, 
type your email. You can also simplify the job for them by typing a subject line. I am interested in property and you can list the property, whatever the identificator you use to identify this property, you can place it here. And you can even pre-write the body for them so they don't have to do that and click save. There is two ways we can display our properties on Squarespace because Squarespace doesn't have an MLS system. If you're using a third party MLS system, you can embed that MLS system. And I'm going to show you an example of my client's website here. They have used an MLS system. So I was able to embed this property on their website. This is a Squarespace website with an embedded snippet from their MLS. It automatically updates once you do any sort of updates to your listings on the MLS. And here's another example of the client where we used so basically the way I was just showing you here, where we can use a block to display of our properties. And this is what we have over here. This is the way it's displayed. Very similar to what we have over here. And here's the way we displayed the page where we showcase more about the property. Feature, images, way to contact an agent, etc. There is a pros and cons to both of these concepts. If you want to just use a blog as our, as our way to display properties, you do not need to pay an extra for the MLS services because you're already paying for your Squares, for your Squarespace website and the blog is the feature that are included in all plans of Squarespace. So you just use this feature. While if you are using an MLS, you would have to pay an extra fee for the MLS system. And on the other hand, you're not going to have, in most of the cases, you would need to know a little bit of custom coding to be able to customize it the way you wanted it. While if you're using a Squarespace website, everything is already going to be looking cohesive with your fonts and your branding and everything. So those are the two options that you could consider. And if I go to home, here is our feature snippet where I'm showcasing all of the properties. And this is actually a very easy to do. I'm going to show you how to create this from scratch. If you're not using a template, you just want to recreate it, add a new section, and then we're going to add a new blog and we're going to look for summary. And here we click on this edit icon and under selected pages, we're going to select our properties, which is in my case, this is the name I gave to my blog page. But in your case, it could be something else depends on what kind of name you give to the blog page. Now what this does, it pulls out all the data that you have inputted about these properties and it showcases in this simple matter and you can showcase this on any page of your website. And then under the design, we can also adjust it to be, for example, we can have a carousel or we can have a grid layout. All we have to do is adjust the number because currently it's set to three but let's say we wanted to have six. And that's basically the same exact look as we have it over here. And so if I scroll down here and I click on this property, it's automatically going to lead us to this page, which I was just customizing where um, the potential customers can learn more about your property. And the beauty of it that is going to um, automatically update. So if I go to properties and let's say I would like to add a new property, I'm just going to name it new property listing, I would add some content. We can add more stuff, but I just want to show you how this would work. Click on this tweet dots icon and click on settings. And we want to set a feature image. Right now, there is no image that is going to be displayed. So we want to make sure that there is always an image. And if I, you click on search for images, it's going to pull up all of the images that you have ever uploaded to your website. And then if we navigate to home, this snippet, the summary snippet has been automatically updated and now we don't need to do anything extra because it's already there. Similarly for this other. So anywhere on a website where you're going to add this snippet, once you do add a new property to this blog, it's going to automatically populate in all of those snippets. The other great feature that we can utilize is using category feature to sort our listings. For example, let's take New York. We're going to have three categories just for the sake of this tutorial. We're going to have Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens. Click on this three dots, click on settings and under the options under categories, we want to add a category, which is going to be Manhattan. 
click Save. This next property, we will categorize it to Brooklyn and click Save. And then the third one, Queens, Save. Click, click Edit button and add a new section and look for Categories or Archives. Here, you would click on this button and you want to select what database you want to categorize. In our case, this is Properties. And then we want to choose how we want to display that. And I want to display it, let's say a list. If you have four or five lists is fine, but if you have more, it's better to display it in a drop down just for the purpose of the user experience. Here under the group name, we want to select a category. And we also can show a group count, which is going to show us how many properties in our case are in each category. So we can use that too. Now we have our category displayed. This blue box, it's basically an outline of element and all the elements inside this blue box will take basically the space that you outline with this box. So if you wanted to make it larger, we just have to extend it like this and click save. The way we can delete some categories you don't need is by going to this gear icon and navigating to advanced and then manage categories. And here we have this category, which we can add it by typing something else or just deleting. Click save and let's just refresh it. So now we have Brooklyn, which showcase we have one property. Manhattan has one property and Queens has two. If I click on Queens, it will show me just the properties that are in this category. Same for Manhattan and Brooklyn. So this is a very easy way to create your portfolio of properties without spending extra money on MLS software. Then when we navigate to homepage, uh, Squares basically proceed to edit. So the first line you would want to highlight, where are you located? Because real estate agents are very location based. So it's important for people from the first sign to know where is your location. So this is the opportunity for that. Then you want to give some statement of what are you doing here? And from here, you can direct them to contact us or maybe to properties. So here, let's say we would like to, and we can attach a link similarly, just click forward slash and look for properties and always click save in upper left corner. We can also change the image on the background, navigate to the background and here we can remove this image and upload our own image. Now, the beauty of this template that you already have the structure that you need to follow to create a website that converts, you can just fill in out the copy based on example and click publish. So we have a little bit about the agent. So this is where you introduce yourself. You can use this section to highlight where you have been featured. Maybe you have given some interviews, spoke on some podcasts. This is a great area to feature all those achievements. And this area is another way to highlight your properties. This one isn't linked to, to the blog. This is basically just a section, like a gallery section, and you click on this edit content and then navigate to the content. And here we can add any information we want. So if I remove this image, I can replace it with another image. Let's see this one. Then under the listing name, we would obviously type the listing name. Then we have a description, which we can adjust. Maybe it's three, three and two square feet. The beauty of this section that you can actually link, for example, if you have a property listed on an MLS or somewhere else, your agency, you can actually include an external link. So I'm just going to go to Zillow, the very first property I found. I'm going to copy this link, navigate back to this website. And here under the link, I'm going to remove the link, click attach a link. And instead of attaching a link, on our website, which is also a possibility you can do it here, or we can link somewhere outside, just like that. And you can customize all of this property. You can add more properties, so for example, and add another one, add another image, and so on and so forth. Here's another opportunity for them to learn more about your properties. This is why I selected this layout, that it's easier for them to see all of your properties while this provides 
a good view of the image and the visuals of the property as we we featuring a very large image this one gives like overall view of what properties you have to offer and um, obviously we would always want to stay connected with our potential customers here is the opportunity to collect their emails introduce our services what are we providing buying selling investing it um, depends on your services it could be different and now the social proof section over here where we can highlight how many properties you have sold with how many clients you have worked etc from a psychological point of view numbers always work great especially for the social proof this is a really great and easy tool to utilize on your website and this is an area to feature testimonial from your past clients and we ending with a final call to action featuring your image maybe on a background you could uh, feature one of your properties and then call to action to work with you this way squarespace editor works we have sections and then each section has different blocks we can add as many blocks as we wish inside this section for example we can add a form right inside this section we just want to make sure that it fits the section right we can also shift the sections around for example if you want this section to be below click this move button and now uh, it has been moved the other great feature to utilize uh, once you have customized a section and you maybe want to reuse it on other pages this like or save section if i want to add a new section so let's click exit and now i'm going to go to let's go back to properties maybe i want to have the same section on the top here you navigate to save sections and here it is and just click saved and you just save save yourself so much time without need to rebuild all of it once your website is ready you want to navigate to settings under the website and site availability currently this website is private in order for us to publish this website we have to upgrade to one of the squarespace plans upgrade to the plan and here you can pick whichever one works for you the best one is would be a business unless you want to have a shop then you would want to have an next tire which is commerce now public button is grayed out because we have not upgraded our subscription but once you do upgrade it you would be able to click this public button and that's when your website is going to go live but before that you would like to connect your domain uh, by navigating to domains if you don't have a domain, uh, you can get a new domain by clicking this button and then typing a few words, I don't know, Boston, and it's going to give you a different domains available. Or if it's your name, you can obviously type your name and see if that domain is available and then you can purchase it from here. Or if you already have a domain, let's say with a GoDaddy or other services, you can uh, connect the domain to Squarespace website. So just use a domain at home. You would type the domain and it's gonna populate the options for you. Because my domain is inside the Squarespace, I can connect it to this website. In your case, um, if it's on a different platform, it's gonna give you a few other options which are very easy to follow. You just have to follow the prompts that Squarespace will give you. This is the way you create um, a real estate website for your real estate business. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.